This is quite a hot hat. It's actually, I think, Australian wool. I think it's like an Australian wool hat. Anyway, let's talk about Noble Ape Skellin Skellington. Noble Ape Skeleton. Yes, let's talk about Noble Ape Skeleton. It's a very poorly named sub-project. In 2009, maybe 2009 through to 2011, a gentleman by the name of Bob Mottram did a lot of work on Noble Ape. He did so much work, in fact, he basically created probably half again worth of code, maybe even more, associated with the Noble Ape simulation. And in terms of what remains, maybe about 35% of Bob Mottram's initial contribution. One of the things about Noble Ape is stability, like long-term stability. And I wrote an article for IEEE Computer Graphics and Applications in 2004, I think, maybe 2003, 2004. And I talked a lot about how in order to have stuff in Noble Ape, it has to be run for tens of simulated years. And a lot of Bob's stuff was really amazing stuff. It just wasn't particularly stable over the long term. And one of these projects was Noble Ape Skeletal System, and also the vascular system that went through it. And I think there was a, there was like pathogens and the biological like system for the individual apes. And these were based on biological models, I think in the 1950s and 1960s, like uh, maybe even later, like data models associated with the body. And the noble ape skeleton itself, the actual skeletal structure is really a work of art. I mean, Bob's put in some serious hours and this thing is really beautiful. And it complies to the underlying genetics of the noble apes. They have all different kinds of noble apes skeletally represented. And it's just really cool. I'd love to actually get it to 3D animation. It's a two dimensional um, description of the noble ape skeletal structure, but I'd love to get in three dimensions and actually have them move and this kind of stuff. And it also has a vascular simulation that that runs through it as well. But unfortunately, all these things weren't particularly stable. And that was the real frustration with it was that it just had various issues. So, you know, things would crash periodically. And the underlying structure, the way the skeletons are rendered and these kind of things, I think worked very well for Bob on Linux, but it didn't necessarily work so well on the Mac. And part of it was to move it to a more genericized version and then just do a bunch of other stuff. It's a lot of the sub-projects, and even Noble Ape itself, is just a lot of work. Like, it's taking one idea and moving it in another direction, and it's just a lot of work. There's a lot of non-glamorous work associated with the Noble Ape development. And the Noble Ape Skeleton project, the sub-project, is really taking a lot of that stuff, non-glamorous stuff, and producing something which is artistically and visually beautiful, and just putting it in this constraints of stability and these kind of things, and then moving it back into so uh, maybe half the sub projects are really intended to be reintegrated in noble ape at some stage and the noble ape skeleton is certainly that project because it actually takes the entire noble ape simulation from a particular time with the skeleton and just freezes that in time and then i make modifications so we can kind of broadly reintegrate this thing back into the no the current noble ape simulation because there's been eight years out of development, maybe six years of development since when Bob did the Noble Ape Skeleton. And he's got other things in there. He's got Fosgene, which is a um, cathode ray oscilloscope um, method, which he's independently developed after the fact as well. So there's all this different IP in Noble Ape Skeleton, but it's such a really artistically beautiful thing that I want to reintegrate into Noble Ape, and that's why it is a sub-project and something that I'm working towards getting it reintegrated in. I mean, Bob put years of effort into Noble Ape, and really, out of everyone I've worked with on the simulation, I had the opportunity to meet him in 2016, and I spent 45 minutes with him, and he brought a list of questions for me, and we kind of had a haphazard greasy spoon lunch in Manchester. I wish I had more time to talk with Bob. It was a frustrating time, because my wife was out having problems parking cars and things in Manchester, and I was... They're just chatting with Bob Mottram and, you know, got the text, the spousal text, you know, needed assistance. It'd be wonderful to have a, a weekend with Bob Mottram, just talking about no Blake related stuff. I mean, I've really been very privileged to work with a lot of really smart people on no Blake and Bob Mottram is just an amazing man. I've got a lot of time for him. So this component of his work 
maintained in the sub-project for specific reintegration. Um, you know, never, never forgotten, and it'll go back in there. In terms of the code that he worked on that is still in the simulation, uh, the episodic events, um, a lot of underlying stuff that he put in there, the social graph, um, a lot of Cynthia Brazil's work from MIT, he codified and added into Noble Ape. And uh, the social simulation that he has there, I mean, it's interesting actually because the representations of the various apes, the internal representations that each of the apes have, that's all Bob Mottram. Uh, the language simulation in large part is Bob Mottram. And yeah, he's just done so much work. So yeah, when I think about the stuff that still remains, I've done, there's been a lot of obfuscation, a lot of work on some of Bob's underlying stuff. But uh, yeah, he's still a substantial contributor to Noble Ape, even though he hasn't explicitly added any code, I think, since about, I don't know, I want to say maybe 2013, maybe 2012 was the last time he added code. But in the remaining time, um, a lot of his ideas have been heavily maintained through the simulation. And the skeleton is more, it's artistic, like it's just beautifully constructed and it really is kind of craftsmanship kind of stuff, which I think is just untouchable, really. So yes, that's what Noble Ape Skeleton is, as a sub-project of Noble Ape, and also as a, a remembrance of all the efforts that Bob Mottram put into the simulation.